clean it at length and I've bent the head end over and I'm going to start wrapping the tail end now with some green carded wool. And try not to go down onto the tail, keep that thin. And then just keep adding more wool around the body and head area to build that up. just on the body. So again, not going on the tail. I'm going to wrap that around. Okay, and above we are creating the slope here and at the sides getting thinner as well, going onto the tail. And keep the base of the body flat. The needle felt that more flat. Get, the more that you felt, the more the wool shrinks down, so you may need to keep adding more wool and needle felting again until you're happy with the size. Wrapping more wool now just around the top of the head onto the body area, just a little bit more. Leaving the, the nose area thin. Get needle felting that full on. So you can see the kind of shape we're going for here, um, so flatter along the bottom and higher and arched on the top, like so, thinner along the top, and when you're looking from above it should look thinner along the top too, like that. So measuring back, we want to needle felt the head detail in.
Four little legs there, kind of the same. Okay, let's make the spine now for our chameleon's back. And for that, we're just gonna needle felt some um, of the green cardi ball, the same color. Roll it in between your fingers. And just keep repeating that process until you get a kind of thin dreadlock. Okay, and then just line that up along the centre of your chameleon's back in line with the top of the head and just needle felt into place. join there okay now we're going to attach the legs okay let's attach the legs so you want to just position onto the side of the body um, so going up about a centimeter from the bottom of the body and I've attached this one leg already so just when you attach the second leg um, just make sure that they're lined up so that they're even and then you want to knead a felt straight into the body through the side. And take little bits of the green carded wool and just knead a felt that um, neatly over the join. That will help attach the leg more securely and obviously cover the joins. in between the legs that helps support them as you needle felt through the tops. And use your fingers to push the wall down and push the pipe cleaner flat. Okay now we bend the legs so I'm bending the feet first just a tiny bit about a centimeter and then we bend the leg into a kind of backward S shape like this. Push up and there we go. Okay, now I'm going to tease out a little bit of the black carded wool and this is going to make the mouth. I'm just going to thin strip and just needle felt that. to make the bottom neck or chin so that it's a little bit smaller than the top lip so that the top lip protrudes a bit more so you just needle felt that in a bit just pull the top lip out a little bit more you can needle felt on the eyes um, like I've done with this little guy or what I thought I'd do with our friend here is just glue in some little stem back eyes and see what they look like. Loving the look of those. Okay, so the next thing to do is um, needle felt on his pattern and for this next one I'm just going to do some spots. Tail. 
And there's our little chameleon friend all finished. I really hope you've enjoyed this video. I've got the full pattern with stencil sheets available over on my website, thewishingshed.com, along with lots of other patterns and kits, so feel free to check that out. You can make these in all different colours and sizes and have loads of fun. Again, thanks for stopping by today, guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll see you back here soon.